Hi, Rick. How you doing? Good morning, Keith. I'm fine. How about yourself? I'm doing great, man. Just grateful. Really, really grateful. So I thought we'd start this one off. Uh, the topic is allow kindness to bring you back. And uh, this is inspired by just an awareness that I have been uh, not intentionally cultivating, just doing the practice every day. And this is this level of consciousness has opened up for me. And what I mean by what, well, let me describe it. Sometimes, not often, but I can be in my head about thinking about something or in a mood, something could have happened and for whatever reason, my mind wants to pick a fight with, with the moment. It could be something as simple as, you know, this person is not here yet, you know, because I'm here early, <laughs> you know, and I'm upset with them for not being here yet, or they're chipper and I'm not. And I've got a couple of friends who bring me right out of that uh, immediately. Mm -hmm. My friend, Brian, every time I see Brian, our friend, Brian, Brian Chong, every time I see him, Rick, he walks through the door and he just stops and he just gives me the biggest smile. And no matter what I got going on, it totally breaks and disrupts that default mode that I'm in to where I'm just at the effect of my mind, I'm identified with some thought. And that smile seems like this, this is this him reaching out his hand to me to pull me back into the present moment. And I just stop and I smile back at him and I was like, what's up, Brian? And I, just give him the, and I just give him the biggest hug, man. And I haven't told him about what that does for me. I, I'm gonna see him today and I'm going to tell him that that brings me back to, man, life is good, man. There are no problems. You know, there are challenges out there, but they're on the outside. I got to make sure they're none inside. And until he does what he does by just being him, just rooting me in the present moment with pausing and smile, literally he stops and he just looks at me and he just goes, that's it, that's it. And it, it, it just breaks me out of that cycle, I, 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 I'm able to exit the matrix, right? And get right back into the present moment. And he does that for me and I'm incredibly grateful. And I think there are people that have done that for me in my whole life and there are probably people that do it, you know, for people right now. I think about how busy life can be if you are at the effect of your mind. I mean, obviously there are things that we deal with in life but, we, but if we're at the effect of our mind, then we're busy inside too. I mean, there's one thing to be busy with the outside world. It's another thing to be busy inside and not peaceful. And he does that. Uh, the other form is, is people would give me that kindness and I wouldn't allow it to bring me back either. They'd wake up in the morning and they'd be, good morning. Like, that's my cue. But I had this narrative going, <laughs> I'm not a morning person. Like, give me an hour, you know, before you start like, you know, uh, interrupting me, you know, with cheerfulness, with kindness, give me, a minute, give me a minute before I can handle that. No, that, that kindness can again be that break that I need to get out of my default setting and be rooted in the present moment. Uh, it could be, you know, colleagues do that in the morning, your significant other does that at the end of a long day where you have allowed yourself to be at the effect of those open files, things that you haven't completed or things that are on your mind, you can use the laughter, the playing of your children when you walk back in the house at the end of a long day as an opportunity to have it bring you back. But instead, most people come in and they look at what's wrong. Why are these backpacks in the walkway? These shoes are everywhere. Nobody's cleaned up the kitchen. Look at that bedroom. No one's doing their homework yet. That's one day to continue. That's one way to continue that cycle of being at the effect of things that are outside of your control in that moment. But there's another way. And allow those things, uh, the people around you, that those, those acts of kindness to bring you back. 
And I'm just really present to doing that. I'm going to go today and do an outside activity in the afternoon. And I know my mind is going to be do what it's done for the longest time is check to see if everybody's on time, you know. <laughs> but instead, I could be like rooted in like, oh, man, it's a nice breeze out here. What a beautiful day. Uh, my friends are coming. We're going to have a great time, a blast. I, I could be doing that, you know, allowing those acts of kindness, that sweetness of life to bring me back. What are your thoughts, Rick? Well, I got a question for you first. Why do you think it's your default way to not be receptive to that, to be worried about the backpacks in the driveway and to not take the cue of a good morning? Why is it that that's the default? For me, I think it's because I haven't worked on myself, you know, I've just been at the effect of of just my mind and it's uh, it's constant push to make the outside world match up with what my expectations are or or, or what I uh, how I think things should be. So, for example, not being open to a cheerful good morning. A lot of that is because I didn't go to bed on a, at a good, you know, at a decent hour. I wake up tired. And so I'm at the effect of being tired instead of being open to this gift that someone is introducing into my day to like say, you know, they're just saying, good morning, my love. <laughs> the, the day is calling. That's all they're saying. But I, I resist that. And, and I think uh, for me, I think that's it. I'm trapped into you know, my mind doing what it will do if I am not present and conscious. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is for, for me as well. The idea is that it's very difficult to be an A-type, hard-driving, get-everything-done type, and then still at the same time have a peaceful, loving uh, interior that makes you open to the good mornings, mm -hmm. and not seeing the backpacks and being in love with your life the way it is. Um, so I guess part of the, the the lesson is that we need to make sure that we're keeping an eye on what we want to be and who we want to be. Yes. No one saves us from ourselves, right? I mean, even Brian Chong's bright smile, it, it triggers something in you that causes a reaction that helps you get out of your mode. But what if you didn't have to get out of your mode? You know, what if it was just Brian Chong adding frosting to your beautiful cake already? I mean, wouldn't that be particularly oh, satisfying? Yeah, no, no one can make make your life the way you want it, right? Except you, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we have to be mindful all the time of what we want and what we don't want. I don't want, for example, in my life to be the guy that's always criticizing. I don't want to be the guy who's always judging. I don't want to be the guy who's cross-examining people I love about whether they're telling me all of the truth or everything I need to hear or uh, to watch them squirm or to you know have some ulterior motive that makes me superior you know that it, it, it it's a lifetime of realization that none of that is necessary and none of it is who we want to be we want to be loving we want to be peaceful we also want to be fearless but fearlessness is is, is part of the wisdom that comes from being um peaceful and loving Absolutely, Rick. I think you said it uh, so well. I mean, I'm hoping that I'm bringing that to to people's, you know, life and contributing and raising the moment. Uh, but to your point, man, some people, you know, if you are not working on yourself, you 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 you're not open to it. You don't even see it as kind. Don't of even see it. Don't. No, it's it, just the way I am. You know, it's yeah. just I'm not a morning person, right? Absolutely. So you give up. You give up, and this, you know, the, the other person is kind of nutty for being so happy all the time. You know, some we have this weird thing in America. Maybe it's all over the world, but we have this thing that I see all the time where people confuse um, weakness and stupidity. You know, they think people who are you know happy and, go, and, and just don't understand the gravity <laughs> of how terrible things are. <laughs> no, and, and you're like, no, they completely understand. <laughs> completely. Yeah, you but know, choose to be a different way. But choose to be a different way, man. You know, and uh, and I'm finding more and more that with the practice, I am more and more aware of the choice that is present in every single moment. In yeah. every, no matter what's going on, you can make that better. Like I don't care how hard there is, you can you can still make it a little better. Rick, yeah. thank you, thank you for today's show. 
<laughs> but you're welcome, Keith. I always love hearing what's going on with you, man. It's it's so enriching. I, I, I really appreciate being included. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, Rick. I love you, buddy. Adios. Adios. Thank you.